Hello, my name is Gabriel Koshinsky, and I'm running for president of student government. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about why I'm running and some objectives I'd like to address while, while president. The reason I'm running for president is in hopes of serving you and your aspirations. I, I believe we can do better as a university to serve the vast interests of diverse students, and I feel we can address the many needs of students in an inclusive manner. One such initiative I hope to take on as president is fiscal responsibility. I will work with the Finance Committee Chairman as well as my Executive Secretary of Finance to ensure that our funds are available and that we sustain a balanced budget. We owe that to you and we owe that to our legitimacy as a student government. Next, I would like to try to communicate with students. And the best way to communicate with students is through transparency and updating our website, as well as working with the Chimes to make sure students are well informed of what we're doing as a government to serve them. The next issue I feel is one of our most important issues this year, and that deals with the campus solicitation policy. As many of you know, books are very expensive, and you are often surprised when you go back into the bookstore to find that their depreciated value is $40 less than what you paid for, and most times more. This inflation and deflationary measure is the effects of the lack of a free market system here at Capital, and specifically a free market system oriented towards allowing student entrepreneurs to grow and to sell products that can effectively compete with the bookstore. I believe that by working with the administration, we can successfully put an end to this solicitation policy and that you can save money on books, which are vastly needed. Another initiative is working with organizational leaders. This depends on being inclusive and allowing all groups to share their concerns with me and also working to solve the many issues that their organizations face in terms of funding and finding extra funding other than through student government. This can be done also by working with the community of Bexley and Columbus by getting our name out to the community and becoming part of it as well. Another such issue you will be facing is parking. I understand this issue is very controversial and many of you know by the amount of money you're paying in terms of tickets, that parking is fairly expensive at the means of getting tickets for just finding a spot to come into capital. We will address this by working with the community of Bexley. I believe that by working with the community now, we can start to lay the foundations of what will be a parking garage that will allow more room and more space for parking and decrease the amount of tickets you have to pay substantially, perhaps to zero. Another such initiative I'd like to address is working with the administration and making sure that students are involved in student policies that are made in the Student Handbook Code, which many of you have not seen. I believe that student participation is essential for this university because it is our education after all. Moving on, some of you have heard that the resolution of eradicating visitation hours was passed in student, count, student government. And I, I strongly support this measure. I feel that once student government passes a resolution, we, we have a duty to ensure that we follow up on what the administration does regarding it. I, I will perform such a responsibility and work with the administration to see that the eradication of visitation hours are implemented. My last initiative is working with the administration and the Bexley Police in ways to not only deter crime but ensure that all students are safe here on campus. Given the many campus shootings we've heard about on TV and the world that we face, it is essential that we have some kind of implemented plan to ensure that you are protected as a student and I will do all in my power to make sure that the administration and, and Bexley, as well as student government, informs you and provides you with the necessary tools and knowledge to protect yourself. Now that you know some of my policies, I hope that 
this April 7th through April 9th, you'll vote Koshinsky-Evans for president. Thank you.